Okay, so uh, I was traveling on the road with our gospel rap group, Preachers in Disguise, PID. And uh, we were out doing a tour. And before we started the tour, we didn't have the funds to buy a tour bus. So I had an uncle who uh, had a big, one of those good time vans. And uh, we asked him if we could use his van. Now, he was not a believer at the time, uh, but this is what he asked. He was just getting his life back together and uh, just getting out of the drug scene and out of drug life. And so he said, uh, you can use it only on one condition if I can go with you, because I know that you guys are not going to be using and I want to be kind of in a positive atmosphere. So we were like, absolutely, come on. You know, so we get on the road. Now this van, I gotta tell you, it was like one of those, uh, it, it wasn't a good times van, it was a rough times van, okay? Uh, do you remember Dumb and Dumber? Okay, it was that type of van, but without the ears, without the dog hair on the side, but it was that van. And we're all over the United States, right? And so one particular night, and let me tell you one other thing about this van, the gas uh, gauge did not work. So we had to calculate when to put gas in the car. So we're up in New Mexico, up in the high desert, New Mexico. I don't know, like Santa Fe area or something. It's about two or three o'clock in the morning and somebody uh, forgot to calculate correctly, uh, somebody forgot to calculate correctly that it was time to put gas in the car. So we are in the middle of the desert, about 50 miles away from the nearest city and our van comes to a stop, run out of gas. It's three o'clock in the morning. Nobody's gonna stop. So we get out of the van and we start pushing it. And my uncle's like, what is going on? Why are we doing this? Why are you doing this? Sure enough, all of the other members of the group were like, why are we doing this? And I'm praying like, God, who is that that forgot that and why are we doing this, right? And so we're just pushing and I'm asking God, I really messed up, I need you to, come through for me here. And then all of a sudden, these are these stories, right? All of a sudden, this guy rolls up and stops in front of us, gets out of his car and says, hey, do you guys need a ride? We said, sure, we ran out of gas. He said, look, come on, jump in. I'll go take you to the gas station, get gas. When we get in the van or in his car, he starts talking to us. He has praise and worship music on. So already I'm kind of smiling. I'm like, oh God, okay, here you go. And so my uncle's in the car next to me and other members of the group, you know, those that went to go get the gas with us. And so the guy starts asking us a question. Well, what do you guys do and all that? And I say, we're, we're a gospel rap band and we're traveling. We just ran out of gas. Somebody forgot to put gas in the car. And uh, so he said, you know, that's interesting. I am a professional astronomer. This guy was a scientist and he worked up in the mountains, up uh, like up in the high desert in uh, New Mexico. And he said, what's crazy is that I work around a lot of non-believers, but I'm a believer. He said, and what's even more crazy is that about an hour ago, I woke up and I couldn't go to sleep. And I'm wondering why in the world can't I go to sleep? And so I get up and he said, I, I got myself, you know, a little drink of water and I sit on my porch. And he said, all of a sudden I heard the spirit of God speak to my heart and say, go for a ride. I need you out on this road. And so he gets up and he says, that's why I'm here. And I'm sitting here with this big grin on my face next to my uncle. And he looks at me and smile. I look at him and smile. God delivered us out of the high desert because somebody forgot to put gas in. But this is what he told us. He said, even though you forgot to put gas in, God did not forget about you. What a story. <laughs>